My name is Hannah Hughes, and I'm the Central Texas Field Manager for Texas Rising. Howdy! My name is Antonio, and I am a Deputy Field Organizer here at Texas Rising. Hi everyone, my name is Jordan Alarcon, and I am a Deputy Field Organizer at Texas Rising. So today my team and I are going to come together and teach you about the state of voting in Texas, why voting is important, and also how you can get registered to vote even at home. We're a youth-led statewide organization that's dedicated to building power among our generation in our communities and at the ballot box. We know things are uncertain in the face of COVID-19, but voting and knowing who's in office representing us when this is all over matters now more than ever. We're here to make sure everyone understands why it's important to vote, how to register or update your voter registration online, and know information about the upcoming November election. All right, everyone. So before we begin, I have a little quiz to kind of test your knowledge about um, the state of voting in Texas and to make you think about what is it like to currently vote in Texas? Um, what am I getting myself into? So uh, first question is, how does Texas rank in voter turnout compared to the rest of the country? So we can be first out of all the states, uh, 28th, 30th, or 47th. All right, so we are 47th, all right. So uh, we are out of, out of the 50 states, we rank 47th um, in voter turnout. So pretty, pretty low, if I do say so. Next question. How many eligible voters participated in the U.S. Senate race and governor's election in 2018? The year that Beto O'Rourke and Ted Cruz were running for the U.S. Senate, that was a huge election. Is it A, 33.7%, B, 46.3%, C, 60.1%, or D, 78.5%? The answer is B, 46.3%. So even during a major election where we're determining our governor and the U.S. Senator, less than half of the voting population actually voted. Does getting out to vote matter? Yes or no? Yes, it definitely does. It matters that young people register and vote or else our voice doesn't get heard and other voices count more than us. Like when only 48% of Texas between the ages of 18 to 24 are registered to vote in comparison to 78% of those ages 65 and older, that age group has more voting power than us. Um, and then only 32% of Texans without a high school diploma voted in 2016, whereas 74% uh, of those with a college education went out and voted. So if the majority of us believe that our vote doesn't matter, then it becomes true. That's why we need more of us to register to vote and turn out on election day because we can make a difference. And we're starting to see that difference happen. During the 2018 midterm elections, voter turnout among young voters and Texans increased by 500%. 16 million of Texans have registered to vote just this year, and one third of those Texan voters are young people. Young people actually make up 52% of the population of Texas, and that's why Texas Rising is here. Because we have a goal to register 100,000 young people before the November election. So we've been thinking a lot about voting and the statistics behind why it's so important to vote. But I think another thing at play here is your own personal reasoning to vote, right? Like what is driving you to go to the ballot box? So I wanna ask you, you know, what changes do you wanna see at your school, in your neighborhood or in your city? So for me personally, um, I'm from San Antonio, and something that's a pretty big problem here is um, the lack of Wi-Fi equity amongst the people of my city. Um, so why do I vote? Well, I want someone in office, you know, a mayor, my city council person, um, to fight for every San Antonian resident uh, to have access to good, reliable, fast Wi-Fi. Um, especially with COVID-19, having us all rely on the internet, the interwebs, um, for work, school, even just like entertainment, you know, to see other family members over FaceTime requires a stable Wi-Fi connection. And that's why I personally, you know, that's something that like 
maybe a more micro scale, um, voting can change in my community. So how to register to vote today virtually? You can get a pre-filled registration form sent to you by register to vote. Use this unique URL that your school or teacher will share with you. To be eligible to register, you must be a U.S. citizen and 18 years old by the next election. You must also re-register to vote every time you move, so make sure that you're registered at your current address. Registering to vote will take less than three minutes. Use the unique URL from register to vote fill out your information. Once you respond, you can expect your requested documents and instructions to be sent out to your provided address within two to three days. It's usually pretty quick. Sign the form and send it back in the mail. So uh, some other important information to kind of keep in mind is that uh, October 5th, 2020, this year, um, is the last day to register for the uh, presidential election. Um, so for instance, if you register to vote on this Tuesday right here, you will not be able to vote in November. It's very strict. So make sure that you register to vote way before October 5th or on October 5th, okay? Um, and then something else to keep in mind, October 19th through the 30th is our early voting period. Like it says, uh, you're able to early vote at certain polling locations. And I highly recommend this if like you're a really busy person um, because usually lines are really short and they won't be like the five hour behemoth voting lines that you see on election day. Speaking of election day, you need to make sure that on November 3rd, you go to a polling location, all right? And uh, make sure your voice is counted, make sure it's heard. Some important questions to know about. Are you 18 and 17 and 10 months? That means you can register to vote today or wait until you're 17 and 10 months. How can I check that I'm registered to vote? Verify at texasrising.org slash register. Do I need to bring anything to vote? Yes. Bring a valid government photo like a Texas license, state ID, or passport. And finally, where do I vote? You can find your polling locations at vote.texas.gov. Uh, thank you so much for listening to our presentation and for becoming a more civically engaged young person. Thank you everyone so much for your time and attention. If, if you'd like to find out more about our organization, please follow us at Texas Rising. And so that's at T-E-X Rising. I hope you stay safe and well and have a great week, guys.